there, my name is Michelle and today we're going to clean up. Uh, this is a compilation of kind of my week. It was a week. <laughs> um, towards the end I was starting to feel a little better. Um, and if you've watched my last week's video then you know that I was actually sick. So I'm feeling a little bit better, therefore I'm feeling a little more like doing things. Um, I don't know if it shows on camera, but I can feel it in my eyes. I've been crying. Um, I've been having a hard time emotionally this last little while. A lot of things come up, uh, a lot of feeling like, um, doesn't really matter what I do. I'm never going to have a beautiful house. Um, and it, some of that stems back to things. My, one of the things was remembering when I was a little girl. I had a situation where I had made this beautiful centerpiece. We had taken um, some like pieces of wood. I can't remember the kind. It's a desert plant. I can't remember what it was called. Maybe juniper. Um, and my parents taught me how to stain the wood and preserve the wood. And so we had this little log thing. And then we got flowers and these little um, frog a, uh, figurines and it was just beautiful and I'm so proud of it because you know as a young girl you make a lot of things that are like um, paper obviously it was made by a kid um, and just a lot of like paper crafts and crowns and and that kind of thing and this was like the first thing that I ever made that was like Nobody would necessarily know that it was made by a kid. Um, it was one of those, like, it looked nice and it was beautiful. And I was so proud of it. And then um, one day I was playing with my brother. And uh, I don't remember exactly what we were playing, but I had a toy gun. I had his toy gun. And it broke while I was playing with it. And it wasn't like I intentionally broke it. It just broke. Um, and it felt awful. And I was so sad but he was so mad he went in and destroyed my centerpiece and he definitely locked in some deep emotions as I thought about it I was like was that really the earliest I was probably like 9 or 10 I was had been um in 4-H when I made my centerpiece so I know that I had to be more than eight years old so I was probably nine or ten years old when this happened and so I thought about it because a lot of times um, when something happens when you're past the age of seven it's not actually like the earliest like the little thing that um, usually it's an event that just kind of locks it in and says to your mind, see, see, this is proof that you can't have whatever you believe. So, um, a lot of times those experiences aren't actually the earliest experiences. So I was kind of thinking about it and I remember, um, my mom had ordered me a blanket bed set thing. It was like, that was a, um, special kind of cover that you put over the bed so it wasn't actually when you slept in it was just like decoration and the, I had curtains that went with it and everything and I was so excited it was so beautiful and I had my wonderful blanket that I used it was so warm and cozy and we got a puppy and the dog chewed up my blanket and my bed spread and I didn't have that anymore and I don't remember that believing anything from it or anything like that but I feel like that was a good part of this idea that I could never have anything nice because it would always get destroyed and I've thought about that recently because um, we've had problems off and on throughout the last few years where screws just come missing nobody's done it yeah five other people in the south besides me but nobody did it 
uh, the TV for a minute was holding on by one screw. And the, I was trying to figure out why it was so wobbly. And then it, I realized what it was. And I was so livid. Um, the dishwasher was having issues. And where it screwed into the top of the, the um, counter for stability. Somebody had taken those screws out. Uh, when I went out fairly recently to check the mail, found out somebody had taken out the screws from the mailbox. Um, just, it's crazy all over the place and nobody did it. And it just, a part of that trigger, we can't have anything nice. Well, one of the reasons why this has come up this week is because we don't have a lot of silverware because I followed all the advice from everybody and I got rid of a bunch of dishes and so we only had silverware enough and then I had some silverware set aside in case we needed it, in case it got lost or um, we had company. And so we have been low on silverware and its own story there, but I went to get the extras out of the cupboard and there are zero forks. I know there are forks in there and there are zero forks and I am so... I'm so upset. I'm like, where is all the... There was more than that, too. I don't know what else is missing, but I knew we had forks. And there's missing spoons. There's all kinds of missing everything. And I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with emotions because this is the life I'm living right now. A single mom. And things are coming apart. And it's just a lot. And so I've been crying today. So I've been dealing with all these kinds of things and I'm trying to I'm trying to make a beautiful home but I have these beliefs that I haven't figured out how to really let go of yet I've gotten pieces of them out but these beliefs that I never can have anything nice it's something I heard my mom say all the time as well I don't know how old I was when she started saying it but I can't have every, anything nice around here and I hear myself say that and I'm like oh my gosh it's not like my mom and yeah, that's how I feel. I look around my home and the things that I've done to try and make my home more beautiful. And it's like everything's fighting against me. Like I don't get to have it. Like I don't deserve to have it or whatever. I don't know. So that's why um, it's been a hard week. Besides being not well, so my um, resistance has been lower and therefore more emotional just in general. It's been hard. It's been hard to be sick, and it's been hard to find out that, uh, you know, we don't have enough silverware, period. Um, and I don't have money to buy. I don't have any money to buy anything. So, it's really hard. It's really hard. And I've been trying. I I wanted to see, even though we have like the tiniest freezer space, I wanted to see if there was a way we could start saving money or at least eating healthier um, to do some things. And so I bought money or bought stuff on Tuesday, got really sick on Wednesday, ended up throwing stuff away. And that's frustrating. And a part of that is because if I'm not doing, nobody else does. But I haven't quite figured this one out yet. So, I got lots going on. Lots of emotions. It's, um, I did finally get some stuff done around my house. I finally felt like doing some stuff yesterday. And it, it was hard because it's not just not feeling well, it's been depression and just this ult, like, ultimate feeling of powerlessness. Um, this, like, I've talked about so many times, I don't know what to do about just, 
I, I, this whole, the new thing of, um, having people do just a little bit to help out with the weekly chores and spreading those throughout the week, that's been really helpful, but I haven't been able to find a solution to help with the dinner chores and, I know there's so many people out there that are just like, do it yourself and stop being a martyr and, and, and all these things. But the reality is, is that I can't do it all myself. And I'm physically not capable, nor do I want to, because I want my children to be, um, contributing to the family and that means they need to clean up after themselves. And so it's been a real challenge and I'm still trying to figure it out. And that's kind of kind of what I really need to focus on more than anything. Um, I've been discouraged about my home because I feel like I need to do this because it's really important. This is really important. And this is really important. And like there's so, the, all of the things are truly, really important. And I don't know how to choose which one's actually the priority. And it's like overwhelming me. And when I get overwhelmed, I kind of freeze. So it, it's just, this is real life guys. We, we're struggling. And um, so my goal this next week is to really get some clear answers about keeping up with the dishes and keeping up with the kitchen and what's that going to take and is that going to take me focusing on it and letting the kids get away with nothing or is it going to be a new system that will help keep everybody in going or how is it going to work so yeah anyway I'm going to stick some footage in uh, just kind of whatever I've done throughout the week um, I don't put everything in because sometimes I realize, oh, I already just said that. I don't need to put that in again because sometimes I repeat myself throughout the week. Um, but yesterday I got quite a bit of dishes done and I was excited about that. And, and then today I just haven't felt like doing anything, but I need to do some things. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, I have mixed feelings about sharing this because on the one hand, I want to be an inspiration everywhere I go and in everything I do. And on the other hand, I want it to be real and raw and I want you guys to see that you're not alone if you're having problems. I don't want to feed negativity, but I also don't want to hide the truth. So it's been hard, guys. Not only was I sick, but I'm just... I'm struggling. Um, I don't want people to be worried about me because my depression is not such that um, I'm suicidal or anything like that. It just makes it really hard for me to get out of bed and do anything. I'm super emotional, things like that, but I'm not suicidal, so don't worry about that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, enjoy the clips of whatever I throw in on the end, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay guys, it's Friday. Let's update um, Wednesday. I did vacuum the stairs, but I didn't vacuum in my room and it didn't even dawn on me until like late last night. I'm like, I haven't vacuumed my room. Um, so definitely looking forward to getting myself back on track for some of these things. I didn't, va I didn't mop yesterday. Uh, most of the kids did. It's Friday. I went to run a quick errand put gas in the car so it's ready for later found out my tire is flat hoping that it's not an actual flat but we'll see it's just more it's like every little thing just gets heavier and heavier and heavier and anyway um we took time to clean out the car thank you i mean it's not vacuumed but seriously, just taking out the garbage makes a huge difference. <clears throat> I would love to vacuum it, but I don't feel like getting the shop back out. And I'm definitely not going to pay money at somewhere else. So, okay. I just feel so overwhelmed because finishing the kitchen is 
a priority. Finishing my bedroom is a priority. This room stresses me out so bad. And I spend a lot of time in here. Um, finishing or working on the laundry room is a priority. Um, my daughter didn't realize that sitting in her room with her to help her clean was a priority. But the reality is, is there's a shelf thing for her that is sitting in the driveway that needs to be inside before it snows, which means her room is a priority. And it just is, I, I, I have other ones too. It's just like, oh my gosh, everything is so important. How do I decide which is the most important? Which one will get me going the, the, the most, mo create the most momentum in my family? Um, which one will take the biggest burden off of my shoulders? Like, I just don't even know because they're all so important. And this is when I get stuck. This is when I get discouraged. This is when I have a hard time getting anything done in my house because I get discouraged with seeing how important all of the things are and not one of them is standing out over the other. So this is where I'm at. I did last night decide to take and tidy up my nightstand. It'd been a while. See this empty box that's over here? I actually bought that to ship something and then ended up buying a smaller box to ship something and then ended up actually using a priority box which is free. I was like that's silly two bucks wasted because I bought boxes that didn't work. Ugh. Anyway um, since I have it I'm going to see if I can get some of this fabric and I have realized already there's something in there that I've kept as a fantasy self and so I'm gonna be kind of letting some things go and kind of seeing if I can get those into the box um, I'll probably still put the box there but I feel like I will feel better if with it's in a box eventually there is a tote on the top of my closet I know I do not need so if I'm gonna pull that out um, just kind of make sure this stuff is good enough to donate and then donate it um, and then I will have that space that I can put that box up on the shelf okay it's a little thing but I think it makes a big difference a um, couple of things to send to the donation center and a reminder of projects that I get to do um, some of them I really need to cut time out of my day to actually do um, cause they're things I've promised the girls and I need to be a woman of promises. It was supposed to be cleaning him with me day and I just, I haven't felt good. I haven't felt bad, but I just haven't felt good. So I'm going to, it's already late in the day, but I'm going to take today and do some cleaning. I am going to clean off the table. I'm going to see if I can sweep and mop the floor around the table because nobody's been I mean like hardly anybody's been doing their chores I really want to get dishes like these are our um, pie tins from when we make pizza and I just want to get some of that stuff done I just I don't know how people can keep up with this kind of stuff especially when you get sick but I'm not trying to complain I'm just also I don't know. Like, what really would it take for us to be up to date? I really want to get this done. Like, look how gross my stove is. Like, that's just unbearable. And I have a lot of emotions going on this week, too. Right now it's like 4, like 4.03 or so. We'll see how much I can get done and I'll keep it kind of updated. The table's been washed. There's a couple things I left on it just because I haven't done anything with the floor. But I got quite a few dishes going. Those are clean. The dishwasher is running. And this is still gross, but I feel like I've made some progress. 50 minutes, and then I ha I've got to rest. But not bad for, you know, 50 minutes of work. That would be 5-0, by the way. Still not cleaned off. That's okay. Um, still have a few things right here to wash, but I did all of this, I'm so happy, and yeah, I didn't touch this, 
So I have some things to do still, and it's late, and it's okay. You know, that clock is completely wrong. It is, like, after 10 p.m., and not saying, like, almost 7 p.m., that's funny. But, um, I feel pretty awesome that I was able to get all of these pie tins done. They were pretty greasy, so it took a minute. So, getting there, getting there. Not figuring out the emotional aspects, but it's getting there.